guys, this is Ron Moore, and this video is about our humble beginnings on YouTube. What were your humble beginnings like on YouTube? How were your videos back then compared to how they are now? And I gotta tell you, I have some real humble beginnings. I mean, not that my videos are all that great as far as quality and stuff today, but compared to how I got started, I've come a long way. Back then, I was such a noob and trying to get started on YouTube. I wanted to do this stuff and I kept on asking myself, how can I do this? How can I go about it? And I had no clue. I did not know anything about screen capture software or anything at the time. So I remember I was forced to take a digital video class at my college. I was a web designer and one of the requirements, one of the courses I had to take was digital video because they said, well, if you're going to learn how to put videos on the website, you got to learn how to edit videos too. Not really. But anyway, I went ahead and took the class because I was forced to. So I did not know what I was doing. But I do remember that when we had to check out a camcorder, we had to go out, record footage, and then there were VCRs in the classroom. And then we were using Adobe Premiere to edit our videos for the final project. So we would record with the camcorder. The teacher said get a fire wire to import the footage from the camcorder to the VCR and onto the computer and to Adobe Premiere. So I figured, okay, well, geez, let me get a camcorder. And so I went to Rent-to-Own. Archangel Zero was helping me out. He knew people at Rent-to-Own, Aaron's rent center whatever the heck it was called back then. And so I rented a camcorder. And for that first week, man, I was really having fun because I was recording footage of me recording off of my emulation and playing Mega Man 2, Punch Out, all this other, all, all these other games, and uh, it was it was fun stuff. But I did not have a fire wire to come along with it. I thought it automatically came with a camcorder. I didn't make sure of that when I bought it. I thought the wires that came with it was, you know a fire wire or whatever and so I couldn't put the footage on my computer I couldn't think of a way to do it and Swindoll was like man what do you need a fire wire for I said well that's what they told us at TSDC man they said are you get a fire wire to put on your, on your VCR to put on your computer you know they didn't teach me how to screen capture video game footage or anything I mean geez you know not that they were supposed to teach us that but I'm just saying how am I supposed to know I did not know. I mean, I was making things harder than they had to be. And uh, then Jody taught me about Windows Movie Maker that I've been having on my computer the entire time, but I never used it because I never needed to use it. In the four years at the time I had my computer, I did not have to edit video or anything. Now YouTube was around, and I wanted to do video game reviews and stuff. So how do I do this stuff? Well, I saw a review from Gomes the Gamer. Um, a guy I haven't talked to in years. He did a review of Dirty Harry for the NES. And I checked it out because I hate Dirty Harry, the game that is. And I wanted to check out his review. Pretty decent review. His commentary wasn't bad. And I was agreeing with him on a lot of things. I, I commented saying, yeah, this game is terrible. Dude, you're right. But one thing he taught me, he indirectly taught me was he put his webcam in front of the television set and recorded it. I was like... Oh, well, I got a webcam. I, psh, fine. Why not think of that? I'll put a webcam in front of my television and record that way. So I did. And that's when the low budget review series was born. Before I got my before I found my niche and figured out how to record with screen capture software. I used my webcam and then you see scan lines all over the place and all that stuff. So the stuff I used from my, I recorded with my camcorder, I would connect that to the VCR, push play, and then have my webcam set up to record my television. And then the stuff I recorded with my camcorder, I was able to put on YouTube through my webcam, through recording with my webcam. So, all right, well now I'm getting videos uploaded. Well, they're still terrible quality. I mean, it's me in the background. This is before I figured out how to configure my microphone and all that stuff. Because I was also having trouble with my microphone settings. It sounded like I was recording from the freaking bathroom. 
and a friend of mine was trying to help me out saying, well, you got to have uh, uh, this set up over here in order to capture the sound right. But no, me and him, we did not know what we were doing. We, what we felt, well, what I figured out eventually was I just needed to configure my audio settings for my microphone and audio output on my computer. So I eventually figured that out. But man, the audio quality was terrible. The web webcam quality was terrible for a while. Goemon was one of the people that still remember those videos. I have some of those, some of that footage on my VHS tapes today. They're, but they're probably never going to be see the light of day again because I don't feel like getting a capture card just to put that up there. In hindsight, I kind of wish I would have kept this garbage on my on my YouTube channel because. I would have probably gotten Red Supray, and I would have probably got famous, even though I would have gotten trolled, and that probably would have bothered me at the time. Um, I mean, these reviews were Red Suprayable. I am dead serious. Dead freaking serious. No, uh, I, I was, man, I was Red Supray material, big time. Um, and now I did not know about Red Supray at the time, so I was definitely not trying to get Red Supray or anything. But man, it was embarrassing. I was doing text reviews. You ever see those where there's no commentary, but they put Windows, Windows Movie Maker text on the screen saying, this part sucks. This part right here is laugh out loud. No, that's what I did with the Dirty Hair review. And, of course, it got thumbs down real quick, and I, I took and I, I, I took it down because it was all the garbage. I did, uh, excuse me, I did a Not Me on Elm Street review that is taken down where my mom was calling in the background, and the phone was ringing, and I didn't care. I was like, well, that's my phone ringing, so just ignore that. So anyway, right here, you jump over this. And I just didn't care. I had a lazy attitude, whatever. Now, let's just do it live. <laughs> and I realized that was utter garbage. I need to take that down. I didn't even know much about the game before I reviewed it. I didn't know you could use magic powers like you can in the dream world where you can throw javelins and all that stuff. I thought you just punch everything with your fist. It was stupid. Uh, so the review was taken down, obviously. And I did a, a Dirty Harry review of my webcam, sitting behind the webcam commentating. And yeah, I mean, so some of this stuff is fun as far as experimenting, actually getting started and living my dream, so to speak. But man, it was utter garbage. Like, I, I mean, it was embarrassing. And part of me is glad that I took them down. And so, yeah, after failed attempts with the camcorder and the webcam, even though some webcam reviews are still up because they're actually pretty good with good commentary, and um, you can go check those out in my low budget reviews playlist. The first several episodes are of me, Venom, and Angel, and Swindoll. Or I don't think Swindoll is any of the webcam reviews, but Mario 3, Ninja Gaiden, Rampage. Yeah, those are like uh, uh, Double Dragon, the arcade game, web, uh, webcam format. Those are fun to do because of the commentaries and how me and my friends were participating in that. That was good stuff. But yeah, I mean, in the beginning I was like doing webcam from the TV. I mean, Star Soldier does something like that to this day, but he, the way he does it, it was better quality than mine. He probably has like a high-powered camcorder or something. I don't know. But mine was scan lines and uh, the old SC2K shows on the SC2K channel where me and my friends actually show our faces on webcam and we're sitting around talking about BS. And then we do reviews of Mega Man 4, Mega Man 2, and, and whatever with a webcam. Yeah, man. I mean, it's some of that stuff like on this 2 k and on Raw More channels today that are still up. You can check out and see how far I've come as far as audio quality and all that stuff. But, man, I mean, I've really come a long way considering where I started. I mean, it, it was just uh, me wanting to get started so bad. And Star Soldier knows what I'm talking about because he was in the same boat back then, 2007, 2008. He just wanted to get something on YouTube because he wanted to discuss gaming and all this stuff. So he, we all had to start from somewhere. Some people start out great from the very beginning. And they've always been good as far as their quality and audio and all that stuff. But man, me, even Jedi said he keeps his old stuff uploaded. I mean, he doesn't, I don't think he does anything anymore on YouTube, but he does his stuff. I mean, when he did his stuff in the beginning, he was like, man, I don't delete that stuff because it, it reminds me how far I've come because he thought his commentary was terrible back then and all that stuff. And yeah, so I, um, man, humble beginnings right there. I mean, I probably have more to tell. I can't think of off the top of my head right now. But, I mean, it was very, very terrible how I was trying to get started. I did a, uh, 
uh, Adventures of Tom Sawyer review. Um, I did do another Tom Sawyer review in 2013, a Raw Moore review of Tom Sawyer. That is still up today, but there was one I did in 2007, September 2007, the very month I first started. Um, very laggy because I did not know how to capture NES footage at the time. I found out I had to um, do something with my computer. I forgot what it was. Uh, the hardware acceleration, um, to put to zero, and then minimize the emulator window so that when I def when I uh, define the dimensions in Cam Studio, I record in a smaller window so that it won't lag as bad as if it does when I record in full screen. So very laggy and it was just terrible um, so considering how far I've come I mean man considering how I started back then I've really really come a long way and yeah so it took me to probably summer or fall 2008 when I finally found my niche and then 2009 I like to call my breakthrough year because that was where the Ron Moore channel was really taking off that's where the S2K channel started. I started making friends and ha and, and uh, having a little fan base. And yeah, so like like uh, Xander Scullion said, if you made one friend on YouTube, then you've won. And some people define success very differently. Some people, I mean, you look at my channel and you might think, uh, you're not successful, Ronnie. You only have 680 subscribers with over 700 videos you're not successful and your s2k channel ain't successful either because you only you have under 400 subscribers you've been doing this for four years or, or on the s2k channel almost 10 years on the raw more channel and you haven't even gotten a thousand subscribers yet or not even 400 on the s2k and you have over 600 videos on the s2k channel with you and your other people doing lps and but to me success is achieved in different ways and I know that sounds corny because you're probably thinking Psh, you're just saying that because you're in denial that you suck <laughs> no, see here's the thing I had a lot of fun doing this stuff on YouTube if I were to stop right now then hey I went out happy because I achieved my dream of doing what I wanted to do as a hobby and that's reviewing video games and playing video games for a YouTube audience and I achieved more than I ever imagined. Have I made it big? Like over a thousand or a million subscribers? No. Would I mind having that? No, I wouldn't mind having that many subscribers and being successful on YouTube. But the thing is, I am successful in terms of I had a lot of fun doing this for over almost 10 years now. I had a lot of fun recording and editing and playing some of my favorite games or even my not so favorite games and doing commentary over those uh, with me and my friends. I mean, I remember Venom22 saying he really enjoyed doing those at the time. They were real fun to do. I mean, some of the commentaries I did with some of my friends I've known in real life or friends I met through YouTube, they really enjoyed doing this as well. And I mean, there's been very little drama surrounding me on YouTube and all I want to do is have fun, and I've really come a long way since I started in late 2007. I mean, man, so I've really come a long way, and I've actually been successful on YouTube in terms of me having fun and actually learning how to do this the, a decent way. And I, to this day, I still don't have the best audio or video quality, per se. And it seems like I can't have the best of both worlds because back then my audio quality actually was pretty superb in 2009, 2010. But today, my audio quality is far superior than, uh, well, my video quality wasn't super great back then, even with screen capture software and I found my niche. But today my video quality is much better because I got a new computer and a much more updated capture, I mean a video card. But I don't have the same awesome microphone I used to, or I did, but it got old and there's a lot of wear and tear. But yeah, I've achieved success on YouTube as far as having fun and achieving my dream. If I were to stop doing this right now, then I could look back and say, hey, it's been it's been a good run. It's been fun. And, you know, yeah, let's just be thankful for all that. So yeah, um, those are my humble beginnings on YouTube where I thought you had to have a camcorder and a firewire and I did not know anything about screen capture. 
Windows Movie Maker and how to edit properly and have the right audio quality and all that stuff. So yeah, but it prompted the low budget review series and helped me to come up with a name, which Spunkies at the time said it was very fresh and innovative. So that was pretty cool. Yeah, so those are my humble beginnings on YouTube and so I've really come a long way since then and had a lot of fun. So what are your humble beginnings? Don't be afraid to share because I just shared mine. So you can't get any more humble than that, right? Well, maybe you can. Hey, I'd love to hear it. Let's uh, you know, talk about it. Please respond in the comments or preferably I want you to respond with a video. It would be more fun if you respond through video. I really want to hear some stories and in my other video uh, vlogs I did last year, I didn't really get any responses from anybody. That don't bother me per se, but I just want, for this one, I at least want to hear a few responses because it'd be very interesting. It would make for some interesting stories to hear and all that good stuff. So please participate if you can. I would love to hear everybody's story of how they got started and what it was like in the very beginning and how the, how, how the struggle was real, so to speak. All right, guys, that is it. I am out of here. Thank you very much for listening. I will see you guys later. I'm Ron Moore. God bless and take care.